Hey up everybody, I'm on part two of me uh, cladding, me old cladding of me outer firebox. Uh, in part one I were in my woodworking shed and you saw me cut all these strips up in lengths so, and I've now reduced them down to the length of the boiler which is six inch, the outer firebox. So I'm just I'm just offering that up to the firebox to make sure it's the correct size, it's a sample. And what I'm going to do now then, I'm going to go ahead and cut all these oak strips to this length. I've got my mitre saw set up and clamped to my, to my workbench and I've put a stop on it at exactly 6 inch so that they're all going to come out the same. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to cut them four at a time and I've got a fine tooth uh, blade in. So it's just a matter of working through them now and cutting them all. That's them all cut to length. I'm just going to sand them all down now to get all the sharp edges off them. Uh, I've made a start of them, I'm just going to carry on now and continue sanding. We'll have half an hour sanding I think. Managed to get them all sanded now. Um, so important part about sanding them really is just three sides. As long as you get three sides, you know, uh, nicely finished. Because the underside, for example, that one where my saw cut, my circular saw cuts, slightly burnt the wood. Don't matter about that because that's going flat to boiler. You're not going to see that. I've just got to uh, do a couple of things. And I'll explain uh, on this drawing. Right, so I'm going to make make a star to fit in the the uh, the cladding from the centre line of the top of the boiler. So this is looking on an end view. So in the boiler, you'll remember there's three sol silver soldered bushes. What I'm going to do then. I'm going to start from the centre line at the top and the center the center one I will have to cut it to to fit in between the bushes the next ones that's going to start me coming around my radius I've got to then file or machine or cut or whatever you want to do sand fret so put a radius at them positions put your cladding on Mark the centre line, measure the depth that you've got to put the radius in. These bushes on mine are 7 eighths. I've just got a 7 eighths washer, 7 eighths diameter. I'm going to put a line on the wood to the depth that the one I want the radius to be. And then where I've marked where my bushes are, I'm just going to put this washer onto the centre line of that mark to the depth I need and just draw around it like that. I'm going to put two pieces of cladding together exactly aligned and I'm going to cut them radiuses in so I get a mirror image that will give me a nice fit then. Now what I'm doing, I'm filing mine, I'll show you in a minute how, how I file one. And I'm, I'm doing it that way because I want to try and keep things simple because, you know, a lot of, a lot of people that want to have a go at these kind of hobbies have not got a workshop full of equipment. 
and sometimes you know you have, you've just got to make do with what you've got so I'm trying to keep it simple for them people to show to show them people and uh, obviously you could use a, a drum sander and just rub it onto the drum or you could use a fret saw or you could chisel it out and sand it down or you can do what I'm going to do, just get a, a file and file it now obviously I, I'm doing this on a scrap piece at the moment just to show you put something in your vice to protect it so you don't get vice marks in your in your wood uh, I've got a round file and a half round file I'm just going to start that off with round file just to get rid of some of the waste material to give me I'm trying to do this over the camera so you'll have to bear with me that's it so because that bush has got a fillet of solder in the bottom you'll have to put a chamfer at the bottom now it don't matter it, you know it's not critical that because nobody's going to see it and then when you've done that you'll end up with this this is the one I've done for mine chamfers put on to go up to the bush and then that's a mirror image now so it, the important thing is here I think to, to make it a nice you know a nice pleasing to the eye you've got to determine how deep to put your radiuses to so that you get another piece of clad in so that when you put the piece of cladding in it, it's the correct width so obviously if you've not gone deep enough you're going to have a gap exaggerated and if you've gone too deep with this radius you're not going to get a full full piece of cladding in and you'll end up having to cut one down and then it'll look odd so I'll just go over to the boiler then and have a look now I've explained what I'm doing and take it from there get a square onto the front face of your outer firebox and draw a line on each side obviously if you don't start off square every one that you put on after that is going to be not square and it's going to, it's going to be noticeable chamfer on the underside so that's going to take into account for that radius with that solder that's at the bottom of the bushes and I've done the depth of them radiuses it'll just leave enough room for a full piece of cladding like that now obviously this centre this centre piece of cladding has got to be cut to fit round the bushes so where the bands come round to hold everything in place obviously that piece there I will have to probably glue that in we'll get to that when we get to it I'll catch you on my next video in part 3 fitting the clad into the firebox so thanks for watching then bye for now